Welcome to video number 27 on HTML and CSS and I hope you guys are following along. If you do get lost in these YouTube tutorials, just go ahead and go to my site, villageparkmedia.com, click on tutorials and that'll pull you up to this page and just try to find what you're learning. So in this tutorial we are learning intro to HTML and XHTML, click on that and you will uh, see where you're at. So hopefully you guys are following along and we're all on the same page. So. Okay, so in this video, what we're going to do is we are going to add a video to our homepage. And I know what you're thinking. Everybody has a slideshow. I want a slideshow. Here's the thing. We don't really know JavaScript yet, and we're not on a WordPress template where we can just add the plugin that will do all the work for us. But hey, there's a lot of people out there who do have videos on their homepages. I'm one of them, and I like it. So let's go ahead and get a video from YouTube. So let's go to YouTube.com. And let's search any video. And just for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to grab the first thing that comes to my mind. And it is the band The Clash, and the song is called Corner Soul. Okay, so let's go down here. This will work for me. Nope, stop. I'm going to pause that. And I'm going to click on how to. Okay, so hit share right here. And then click on embed. And it's going to give us the HTML tag for a video iframe. So let's go ahead and copy that. Go to our html.index file. And we're still in here. We're still in our content tag. Here's our opening tag. Here's our closing tag. So I'm going to go ahead. I created two more break lines before we add the video. And I'm going to hit Command V or uh, Control V if you're on a PC. And I'm going to save this. And I'm going to open it up in our browser. Where is Safari? Cool. That's actually pretty badass. But I want this to go out a little bit further because this content is 650 pixels in width, and this video looks only about 400 to 450. So I'm going to go back to our index.html page and our iframe width, let's change that to 550. Save that. Now we'll look at this. That's a little bit better. I can work with that. And uh, what else do I want to do? I really want to work on our sidebar because our sidebar is looking pretty half-assed. So what I want to do, sidebars are good for advertising for other companies. So if you have a site and you're uh, you're getting a lot of traffic, come to your site, come to your blog or your homepage, and you want to start advertising like uh, another business or someone's going to pay you the big bucks to put their company on your site, that's what it. That's what uh, um. It's not what a sidebar is for, but that's a good way to utilize a sidebar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab another picture, and you can find this picture on, let's go back to our tutorials. Where is this? We're going to go to intro to HTML and CSS, and go back down to our image file, and I added another image. It, okay, so here's our sidebar image. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to right click on this, and I'm going to save image to desktop. And I'm going to call it sidebar.jpg. Perfect. I think it's perfect. I can't even see my desktop. There it is, sidebar.jpg. So I'm going to go ahead and take my sidebar.jpg and pull it into my folder. I already had one there, so I'm going to replace it. So I'm going to go over to my sidebar tag. Where's this? OK, and we called it right side. I keep forgetting when to call it sidebar. I'm going to go ahead go ahead and add it in here. So I'm going to do two more line breaks so it's not crunched right up with our fictitious phone number. And let's go ahead and do an image source tag and pull this bad boy in here. So we called it sidebar.jpg. And again, we don't need to close an image tag out. We just need to leave it like that. Forward slash close tag. And let's go open up our browser. That's not. Here it is. Go to Village Park. And let's look. That looks pretty horrible because it's some crappy image I made. But if that was like a business um, that we were trying to advertise, it'd look awesome. Because remember, we created our sidebar width of 200 pixels. So anything that fits in here, doesn't matter how, how big the height is, we just have to keep it less than 200 pixels in width. And I created this in Photoshop like 30 seconds ago, and I think it's 180. 180 pixels in width by 500 pixels in height. So 
let's all use our imaginations and assume that this is like a legitimate company that's paying us a lot of money to advertise their business there. So I'm pretty happy with that. And in the next video, we're going to create our footer. And uh, I think we're going to be done with this page. And then again, from this page, we're going to use this for the template for our other pages. So we're, we're getting close to wrapping this thing up. So subscribe to my channel. And if you don't, I found out that they're going to ban pro baseball in Maine. So see you in the